Hey guys, it's me, the Bombay Chef Varun Inamdar, and welcome to Get Curried. Well, today I'm going to show you one of my most favorite recipes, and that is a biryani. Not just a regular biryani, but a saffron chicken biryani, and I'm going to use Mazoo's saffron. Well, this is a family owned boutique company which sources the highest quality saffron from the most recent harvest year. Now, without further ado, let me quickly move on and begin our saffron chicken biryani. Trust me, it's the most scented tasty and aromatic biryani you will ever make in your home. Let's begin. Well, not just tasty and aromatic, but it's also one of the simplest biryanis. Let's begin with ghee. Now, you can use a thick bottom pan or you can also make this in any biryani container or biryani vessel that you personally make it in. Let's add in 50% of the ghee as mentioned in the recipe in the description box below. Let's add in some whole spices. In this case, I'm going to keep it very simple. Let's add in bay leaf. Along with this, a stick of cinnamon, cloves and black peppercorn. Once they kind of just open up their pores, I'm going to add in red onion. Now this is a red onion which is roughly sliced. Let's mix all of this till it becomes light golden brown in color. And to kind of hasten that up, I'm going to add in a little bit of salt. Let's mix this and wait for at least two to three minutes on medium to high flame. The onions have turned beautiful and golden brown. Let's add in red chili powder. And along with this, curd. Lower the flame and mix this well. With this, let's also add in some mint leaves, which are finely cut. I prefer adding mint leaves at this stage because mint leaves added right on top turn them darker. And I do not want the color of the biryani to change one bit because the star ingredient is saffron. And that not only adds in color, but also adds in that beautiful aroma. Let's add in a star ingredient, which is mazoo saffron. I'm adding this not only for taste and flavor, but also for its beautiful color and aroma. Time to add in the piece of chicken, which is already boiled and ready. To this, I'm also adding in some chicken stock. This is primarily to ensure that the chicken also gets that one last envelope. I'm gonna cover this and cook it further for at least three to four minutes on medium flame. Time to add in another layer of richness and that is milk. I'm also going to flavor this with mazoo saffron. Well, not only color, but also add in its beautiful floral aroma. Well, saffron works brilliantly for almost all kinds of culinary applications, whether it's cooking or baking, just ensure you use it. Give this a stir and wait for it to leach its natural floral flavor. Let's check the chicken and the stock for its final doneness. It's looking just perfect. Let's add in the parboiled rice, which is your very typical way of making rice for biryani. Let's add in all of this. This is ideally three-fourth cooked rice. Let's give it a little bit of a dab. Do not press this because you want it nice and fluffed up. To this, I'm going to add in the remaining amount of ghee. Let's add in a few dollops here and there. And with the steam cooking further for the next 15 minutes, it's all going to get absorbed in the rice. It's going to be wonderful, trust me. Let's place in boiled eggs, which are cut into halves. And finally, the flavored milk with mazoo saffron. Finally, I'm going to lower the flame, cover this and cook this under dumb for at least 12 to 15 minutes. It's been 15 minutes, with this off goes the flame, and our aromatic saffron chicken biryani is done and ready. And this is thanks to the wonderful mazoo saffron. Well, I can personally vouch for the quality of this saffron because it's been independently lab tested to ensure quality and potency. The next step is as simple as serving this and eating this.
So this was saffron chicken biryani using Mazu's saffron. Let me also tell you that they offer free shipping throughout the world. The ordering link is in the description box below. So try this and let me know how it turned out. Stay tuned to get curried.